Welcome back to the Daily Minute. On the Sabbath, between Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday, the apostles were at a great loss and filled with sorrow. They wanted to believe Jesus was the Messiah, sent from God, but were having a hard time piecing everything together and trusting some of his last words, like those found in John 14, verses 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. Today we have an advantage the apostles did not. We are on the other side of his resurrection. It is a lot easier for us to believe. We have read of him being raised from the dead and have experienced the new life that he gives. If this doesn't seem to be your experience, I'd like to talk to you about how you can enjoy the life Jesus offers. I'd love to hear about the things God has been teaching you through his word. Let us know what he's been doing in your life by writing in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, please feel free to email me at shinethelightforhim at mail.com. That's shinethelight, the number for him, at mail.com. Thank you, and may God bless you. Make sure to join us tomorrow, Resurrection Sunday, as we see the angels announcing that Jesus has been raised from the dead. See you tomorrow.